We are off to Las Vegas, one of the worst racetracks on the circuit, but before we do that, we are getting a brand new race car. I asked you guys in the comments on the last video, the last time we were on the NASCAR 30,000 career, we all agreed it's going to be the fun thing to do, and financially, actually, it is probably the best thing to do as well. We are going to team management, we're going to sponsorship, we are hiring, not UAW, UAW, not Coca-Cola, not Craftsman, none of these single sponsorships. We are going with Tide, the package sponsor. We're bringing back Tide. We can call ourselves Daryl Waltrip if we want to. Because we got beat Michael Waltrip. Uh, let's sign it up. Let's see what car we have. And there it is. That is not a surprise. We have taken Scott Pruitt. We've kicked him out. Get the hell out of here, Scott Pruitt. You're out of here. We have taken over that ride. This car has been terrible the entire career. It's been one of the slowest race cars I've ever seen in my life. We have now taken it over. We are going to make this thing fast. This is now our new race car. We have taken over for Scott Pruitt. I think his name is still on the side. Yeah, up there, right on the top of the screen. You can see his name is still on the side of the car. We will do it in honor of you for 18 races. We're going to make sure this Ford Taurus, uh, Tide, Downey, Ford, Will. That made no sense what I just said. But that we'll make sure that it, it gets really good. All right, let's go to the garage. We're not going to have the greatest car today. Uh, but this should be one of the last races where we have that situation. We have one race left with a new chassis one race right here overhauling a new chassis and in the engine department it's the exact same thing we're overhauling an engine and building an engine so this will hopefully be the last race where we're really really struggling because we're gonna have all this new equipment coming in on the way however we still need to finish 30th we still need to beat michael waltrip that's gonna be what we have to do today let's modify this car we're probably gonna be running the same thing Yep, gonna be the same thing, so we incurred a little bit of damage last race, so yeah, it's, you know, it's not gonna be the greatest. Uh, chassis is going to be, yep, same thing. So, you know, this is the last time, guys. The last time that we're gonna truly struggle will be today, hopefully. Hopefully this is the last time. Let's all enjoy it, let's all sing Kumbaya, and hopefully we'll never have to do this again, especially when we go to Las Vegas. This racetrack absolutely sucks, I hate this racetrack, so... One last struggle fest. We are ninth in the standings with PPI Motorsports. <laughs> uh, Scott Pruitt. Where is Scott? I, I want to see. Scott Pruitt's been racing, so let's see if we can find him. Uh, there he is, but he doesn't have a ride. So he's actually on our team. Arsenal. <laughs> he doesn't have a number or nothing. We've just kicked him right out. I apologize, Scott Pruitt. But you suck. All right, listen. You've had a year and, and, and two races. I right, get the hell out of here. It feels kind of weird being in this car. <laughs> this thing. Oh, my God. I hope it doesn't bring bad luck. It's going to be pretty funny if we could take this thing to victory lane a few times this season. I want to give a shout out to all the Patreon members. As always, for your support on the channel, you guys are the absolute best. Make sure you purchase Tide at your local grocery store and not. What's the other brand? What's the green one? It's Tide and then there's a green brand. But I don't remember what the green brand is. And then there's like all the other brands. I don't know. But Tide is the honestly the most expensive one and the most well known one. So, again, shout out to the Patreon members. I don't know how I got into like now sponsoring Tide. Tide, come pay me, damn it. We had to qualify top 30. Lap 1 was 27th. Lap 2, I'm going to guess. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. 22nd place. Listen, it's, it's only correct that we get in this race car, specifically this race car. And we struggle. It's it's only the right thing to do uh, for the first one out uh, because it just feels like that. It, it, we have to we have to embrace what this car actually is before we start actually performing in it. I cannot wait to get the better equipment next race one final time. Really struggling for our lives with this race car, and hopefully we will not have to do this much more in the future. Jeff Gordon has qualified like 39th. I've just seen that. We are off. Uh, Rusty Wallace, Ricky Rudd, they're going to pull away right away. We are in 22nd, and it's going to be the same strategy that we did at the Rock. We're going to try and stay in the lead lap, but that's going to be probably a lot harder this race. We're probably going to have to go a lap down and try just not to go two laps down actually and most importantly let's not damage the race car we gotta keep this car intact because this track especially if you get rear end damage just say goodbye there like th there's no hope and we will in protest just end up wrecking every single lap like, it's just it, it we need to make sure this this car stays clean gotta get 30th place we gotta get because we're low on money guys gotta get 30th place gotta beat michael waltrip so wherever that seven car is we gotta find him we gotta beat him and he's right there he's in front of us okay he should be coming back to us so just keep an eye on that seven car. He's up there, not too far ahead, and uh, hopefully we'll get up there and, and be able to beat him. But I mean, you can already tell the engine is not that great. 54 horsepower. It's a better car than we had last year at Vegas, but that's not. I mean, last year was the worst car I've ever seen in my life. So. 
based off early speed. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to beat Michael Waltrip fair and square. <laughs> we're going to need those cautions. We're going to need Waltrip to fall back a little bit, and we're going to need some cautions because, yeah, this car is very early on, and it's going to get worse as the race goes on. So. Yeah, it's okay. I think we're going to bring out – you know what? I think we're going to bring out a yellow in the first run. We're not even going to pit and then bring – no, no. We're going to bring out a yellow in the first run. We need to – right now, the only goal here is actually to beat Michael Waltrip. That's the only goal. Um, top 30 would be great, but as you can see, we're not going to be able to run top 30. There's no chance. So we got to get a little bit creative this race. The final race of really struggling. We're going to have to think of some creative solutions. So my question is, we still have a, we have a 43 car field, right? So who is, is it Carl Long? Is he the new, like, is he the new guy that came in? Because I don't remember ever seeing Long in the 85 in this series. And looking through the rest of the field, everybody else... No, Musgrave has been... Has Musgrave been here? I think it's either Musgrave... I feel like Musgrave has been here. At least for this season, Musgrave's been here. So, yeah, I think Long is the new... The new... Oh, what's going on? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, my heart. Oh, <laughs> I just came back from the pause menu and everyone was checking up. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to stay up here. All right, well, we're 25th now. Oh, my God. What the hell was that? Oh, well, no damage in the race car. We continue on. Heart attack, heart attack, heart attack, heart attack. Holy crap. All right, we're going to have to bring out the yellow probably right now. Leaders entering turn one. So yellow flag is going to have to come out. And to be honest, we're just we're just slow. There's not really anything we can do this race, honestly, that is going to get us a result. Let's just try to bring out the caution here. There it is. Get back going, get back going, get back going. Come on, go, 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 go. Please get to the line. Please get to the line. Get to the line. Get to the line. Block, 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 block. Okay, that was close. Oh, okay, that's... Uh, the heart, the heart. All right, this is going to be really difficult. Really, really difficult to get anything out of this race because we're going to go, hop on fresh tires and we're still going to be probably the slowest car in the field. So I don't really see a way that we're going to get something out of this race, but we got to manage something gotta figure it out and no the one thing we're not allowed to do i know you guys are probably thinking it. you're probably wondering why i don't do it you are not allowed to stay out on green flag pit stops and then on purposely bring out a caution and like trap the entire field lap down that's the one that's going too far that that is going too far but if caution comes out during green flag pit stops and it's not my fault that's fine but no i'm not i'm not gonna do that we just gotta just manage just try to get some tire advantage we can't go a lap down because if we go a lap down i think we're gonna go down two laps quicker than let's say like the leader puts uh, like 15 other guys lap down so yes yeah, uh, look at look at our pit crew by the way i mean i'm liking this package deal i'm liking the race suits the fire suits the car w this car when it's competitive it will work trust me 17 second pit stop by the way great job pit crew great job your second pit stop and you're just doing a great job i love you guys pit crew thank you this perfectly goes to show what I was talking about. Two laps after the restart, we're still in 39th. We are truly the slowest car in the field, doing an honor and a service to the 32 car of Scott Pruitt for one final race. So even even with 15 lap pressure tires, you know, not really working out. I'm trying to think, should we bring on another caution, lap 25? Like, I don't know, man. I really don't know what to do here. All right, here's the guy we need to beat. Michael Waltrip. By the way, Michael, I did not wreck you last race. That was not me. I am now Scott Pruitt 2.0. You do not know who we are. Uh, but yeah, this is the guy we got to beat. So he, and it's going to be honestly kind of difficult because yeah, he's compared to us, you know, 15 lap pressure tires. Yeah, he's definitely faster. So I don't know what to do. We're not going to bring out the caution. I'm actually going to let green flag pit stops roll here because it doesn't really seem, there doesn't seem to be a point in bringing out a yellow. Like fresh tires don't do enough. So I don't know, man. <laughs> I think we just need people to go a lap down, to be honest. So we could get Michael Waltrip a lap down. That'd be honestly pretty good. All right, pit stops are starting for the leaders. Lap 27. The plan is we're going to go down a lap, but hopefully every like up to 30th place goes, you know, it stays in the lead lap, but up to 30th goes a lap down. So, you know, 30th and, and 31st, 32nd, 33rd, you guys know what I'm talking about. They are a lap down. Bring out the yellow towards the end of this race try to get up you know while we are also a lap down try to get up to a top 30 beat michael waltrip in the process waltrip is behind us right now so i'm pretty confident in whoever the leader is right now let's take a look once we get out the corner 
I'm pretty confident. Yep, Tony Stewart dominating once again. Tony Stewart is going to get to all of us pretty quickly, uh, put us all lap down, and then we can bring the caution out. So I think that's that's the best plan. Because at the moment, you know, even with 15 lap pressure tires, we are just not making enough ground. Somehow, my tires are already worn, and they're only like 13 laps old, 14 laps old. That's crazy. Oh my lord. All right, tires are dead. We're gonna pit this time by. Books, books, loose. Books, books, books. We we still got 10 gallons of fuel left. Lap 34. A lot of leaders haven't pitted yet, but our whole goal is just keeping an eye on the leader and our distance to them specifically. So here we come, down pit lane, 70 miles per hour. There we go. Four tires of fuel, no changes. Again, we will go down a lap. We're not worried about that. We just can't go down two laps. And we got to stay, as, make up as much time as possible according to the leader. And we know we need about half of a racetrack to safely stop on the racetrack get back going and bring out a caution we need at least half of a lap of advantage on the leader picker you give me two good pit stops you make a mistake here it's okay to be honest you do want to be honest yeah there it is <laughs> and that's a that's the big one as well it's always the tire changers man the tire changers give the big ones that is 20 seconds yeah 19.9 so that's gonna hurt us a little bit it shouldn't be too bad it'll just like we're gonna have to bring out the caution sooner basically so I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Actually, better than I thought. We are a lap down. Pit stops have cycled through, but the leader is only entering turn three. We're on the back straightaway, so we got plenty of time here. Uh, we got, again, probably going to bring out the caution around lap 50, probably. I was hoping to make it past 10 to go, so that would be a single file restart, but I don't think it's going to happen. So, yeah, we'll see how this plays out. Luckily, we're still 36th. We just need the leader to put as many cars lap down as possible. Uh, we're losing time pretty quickly. I don't even think we're going to make it to lap 50. We're now half of a track ahead of the leader. So it's probably time. We're going to have to bring out a caution a little bit too early, honestly. This is kind of too early for my liking, but we can't go two laps down. I have an idea of bringing out a caution, actually, that might might be able to extend it, but I don't want to risk it. That's the thing. But it's, it's an idea that I have. I just don't know if it's going to work. And I, I don't know if it's worth the risk. That's the thing. I, the idea I have is spinning out in the infield. Like, in the grass. Just spinning out. Caution comes out across the line while spinning out. And that... But I'm worried about the the AI, like, the game taking over control of my car and then merging me back onto the racetrack. So I'm a little bit nervous about that theory. But, uh... I'm trying to get as many laps in where we got to bring it out. He's catching us too quickly. We got to bring it out now. I do want to try it out, though. Let's just see. There we go. Whee! Caution. Caution! No! Caution! 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 What the heck? Wow, no caution. No caution! Oh, my God. They didn't throw the caution. I, I thought it would work. Oh, no. It's over, guys. It's over. Well, <sighs> the last struggle fest. Why did I try that? I, for some reason, I thought if you spin out to the infield that they'd bring, the caution would still register, but apparently not. It didn't register. Oh, now we got left rear damage, and you know what? Just end me. The, ra the race is done. 17 laps to go. Race is done. Oh, man. We... Still not a caution? What the hell, NASCAR? I, I literally have to come to a stop. I have to be completely stopped in order to be a yellow. Ah, oh, come on, man. There's nothing I could... We're, too, we're, we're the only car two laps down. End the video. <laughs> There's no point. It's 43rd. It's a fitting end. I hate this racetrack. This racetrack sucks, man. This racetrack is so bad. Hey, we can finish in 41st. <laughs> Something to race for, right? Am I right? Ah, <laughs> uh, pain. I gotta see if I could DNF someone somehow. Come here! Yeah! Yeah! DNF, DNF, DNF! Uh, <laughs> it's just, I don't know. I'm just trying things. Gotta get one more spot. No. It is what it is. It's 41st place. And by the way, the damage doesn't matter on this car because obviously we have a new... We have two new engines and two new chassis incoming, so it doesn't matter. Even if I DNF this car, it does not. It does not matter. Get the heck out of my way, you bum. But, you know, at least it won't be last. That, that's honestly a, an improvement at this racetrack. Like, this racetrack sucks. 
always finish last year. All right. The nightmare is over. From here on out, we have success, guys. From here on out, success will be coming. Tony Stewart, Earnhardt, Rudd, Jarrett, Wallace, we finish in 41st. And we don't get any sponsorship money, I'm pretty sure. Yep, no sponsorship money. So we got a lot of work to do. Remember, we need an average of 30th place finish. So that means with a 41st, we're going to have to finish at least 19th or better, something like that, in the next race. So we really need to get the next race going next race is going to be atlanta so that's actually not that bad of a racetrack to have a, a a good race car too so i'm not that worried about it the bank we have one hundred and seventeen thousand dollars, so we're not going to be able to do anything um uh, until we get some money uh and actually the next race is really important guys if we don't make any money we're gonna go bankrupt uh, i'm just noticing this because it's a it's a it's a Income, you have, it's either all or nothing, right? So you need to get everything. So we need an average of finish of, is it average finish? Yep, average finish of 30 place. We got to do that. Um, and right now we are not doing that. And this is how you know it's by the contract. It's not by the season. So we current, even though it says 27, that's not our average finish. Our average finish is 41st because that was the first race with this contract. So that means we got to finish in 19th next race. Let's go take a look at what the car is going to be. We're not going to be able really to do anything because we're going to run out of money if we do. So let's go take a look. Cars, we're going to build a new one. We're going to select the engine. It's going to be an engine of 63 power with 63 efficiency. So that's uh, the brand new engine, by the way. So that's we're not going to really get better than that unless we you know, do more R&D in the engine department, which we can't for the entire season pretty much, or fire our engine builder and hire a new one. Uh, the chassis is going to be wooey. 70 tire grip with 64 tire wear so 64 downforce as well as 64 drafting this is i'm very interested to see what this race car is going to do this is this looks like a very very good race car i'm very excited for that we're going to build another race car as well um and we're going to put the engine number six and chassis number eight and so that is going to be what we use for the race after. You can see this one is three less on the power, three less on the grip. And this, this is the overhauled car. So the overhaul car is still also really good. The other car, which is car number 14, this is the new car. So this is the one with the new engine and the new chassis. It needs to get at least 19th place. That is what we need. Hopefully we can get it. I'll see you guys for that one. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out.